Okay. Welcome. Uh, we are back where we left off, which appears to be just inside the entrance to our house. And our wife has apparently told us to put on some coffee because it is storming its ass off. Can I actually go out this door? I want to look. No. That is one hell of a snowstorm. Switch on the coffee maker. You've gotta be so specific, don't you? Fine. Coffee's Happy now? On. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. That doesn't sound healthy. Oh hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. Coffee on thermos. occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Oh, snap! No. <laughs> uh, examine cover mock-ups. Where are they? In here? No? What? You know, I'm trying to follow the stupid dot, but I believe this stupid dot is a lie. Except for apparently it's not. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, Ooh, by the way, page. will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please fuse box hurry. is here. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. <gasps> flashlight. Okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. It is really bright. We'll just break out the candles. Ooh. I know it's stupid, but it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it. You know, it gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. Wow. The dark really spooked me too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever what? got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help <laughs> you, too. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Okay, then. I really should have tried to do something about the uh, the lights in between the last recording session and this one, but uh, what are you gonna do? Hmm. What? How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake? Hmm. How are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. Mm. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get What is with the elbow there. pads on this Sarah, coat? Uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Okay. She appears to be this way. Ooh. Thank you for testing the lights. Have you seen this map? Identifying features. Knack for winning contests. Disappeared on 62007. Oh, we'll cat. Hmm. Camping trip. Missing. Hmm. Come in, Baker. Mr. Wake. I think Your phone's it. on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Ooh, phone. Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. 
unknown color, Hello? huh? Alan, please help me. Alice? Hmm. Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. The fuck? Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Mr. Ray, can I help you with anything? Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Hmm. Anything interesting? Oh no, this is where the doctor was. Can I go in here? No. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Hey. Hmm. Oh, no hey. such luck. He went on a bender and hit Danny pretty badly. Right, and he started here. shouting like I'm that the moment he left. I'm at Ducky's with Thornton. There's light. no sign of him. I don't like or... the goddamn wait, 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 wait. Yes, shadows in here. Look, hey. it's located the brain float. God. It's here. Damn it. Some good I don't want to be alone in oh, here. He's driving it at the rehearsal hey. today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan hey. here. Looks like someone hey. really thrashed the garage. Anybody Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for stuff. Okay. You can get to the back lot through that Shut up, I was listening to the text. Hey, hey, mister. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't... Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. You Don't sound drunk. Ooh. Is that a manuscript page? Ooh, yes, it is. I'll take that. Uh, let's check my progress on these. So, based on this, yeah, it's lit written in episodes, and I missed the ones from the first one. I could probably go the back. The early morning but... light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Go through the fence on the left. Well. Yeah, that's a fence. Ooh, coffee thermos. What about the radio? Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Just nah, he's gonna be talking about the missing wife, I assume. Yeah, how do I kick? Well, that's just rude. Ooh, manuscript page. What are you doing on a rock? Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Hmm. Indeed. Ah! The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness, the way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey Interesting. into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Interesting. You're going Marvelous. fucking nuts, Alan I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing they are not accountable for their actions of course are you feeling any better mr wake yes i'd like to leave Quite. am i free to go well we still need to talk about am i under arrest no of course not but i need to know where you'll be staying so i can get in touch with you i'd avoid the motel the majestic is known for its roaches the cabins at elderwood are pretty nice though that sounds perfect i'm dr emile hartman I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy! Hey, nobody move! 
move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Hmm, yes. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing what? with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, he did just assault a man in the I police had to station. Talk to someone. So. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, mm. I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. Mm. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. Mm. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. I think the that's an XUV. Maybe it's just a truck. It I don't be like retarded. it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Yeah? Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? A person, I guess? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that so? If you actually want to and read that, I recommend you go back, pause, and read you. it. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car... Just listen to yourself. I know it sounds you insane. You shot a guy, and his body just disappeared. When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Ooh. Hmm. Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's understand just what it way sounds here. like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. Shut up. Story, Nobody likes you. Color. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, injured. I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Okay. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the mm. park at all. Yes, but that's that a common problem. Some low life. Just in general. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. Yeah, you well. Talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. Wait here. This whole thing. Is... Shut Listen, up. You hit your head. I think this okay. is the form you wanted. Don't let the and dog eat here it. Are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Geese. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. It's daylight out currently, but you never know what could happen. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Look. Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air. Yes. A guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Yes. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you... Oh, well, I probably should have let him continue on, but he seemed like he was just being bitchy, 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 bitchy. And there's so much story, like, talk and stuff that I don't like talking over it. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. The killer. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Whatever. This seems retarded. That's a flashlight. 
And why did I careful with the really? natives, Al? Night. These yokels are dangerous. Night time. Everybody hates a tourist. Really? Or it'll be deliverance all over again. Oh. I wanna Ooh, thermos. Nope, let me back in there. So am I just gonna randomly acquire another gun somewhere along the line? And is the building gonna go dark and they're gonna steal my agent? That's a bird. That looks like a manuscript page hiding over there. Called that one. Anything interesting in here? Nada. Oh, where am I? Spinning in circles. Spinning in circles. Spinning in circles. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. True, These people but you're an idiot. Right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. True. Why are you so scared of birds? What is wrong with you? And I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I'm missing things. You again. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot oh, more I still have the revolver. I ever to Lost everything else, though. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. I even lost all my batteries. What is this bullshit? Okay. Creepy swing. Swing. Tire swing. I can swing it too. It didn't like that. Apparently making fun of it pissed it off. Whatever will I do? Electrical box. Well, electrical meter. Can I? I can't walk around this. Although, oh, any second. Na Ooh, this place. Birds. Light switch is broken. How is this a horror game? Whenever nothing's popping out of the corners at me. Seriously. Ooh. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially. Um, what is that noise? Okay. I gotta give some credit. That noise is fucking creepy. And who knows? They might just scare the shit out of me by the end of the night. But, uh, who knows? Yes, I'm playing once again in the middle of the night. So, I apologize if I start to sound uh, tired by the end of this recording. But, uh, I'm trying to give it its best chances of trying to scare me. So, that involves things randomly rolling out of the uh, back of cars, apparently. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Somebody's dying. Dying or being stolen? Please help me. Anybody? Help me. He's dead, isn't he? I'll help you, I'll help you. Ooh, thermos. Any revolver ammo or anything in here? No? Okay. He's over there, so I'm gonna go this way past... Ooh. Almost missed that. The ranger's office was locked. I'd need a key to get in. Hmm. Anything back here? What was that? I could have swore I saw something. Oh, thermos. Okay. 
Let's go investigate Rusty. How about you? The gate to Lover's Peak was locked. Well, that sucks. I've got a revolver. How you doing, buddy? I'm back here. Hey. I know you're back there. Oh, forced cutscene. Mr. Wake? Yes. <laughs> oh hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must the lights. In the office. I have the key. So not only is the story okay, coming true, but then the story I'll in the right story back. is coming true. Or some shit. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Office. So, the ranger's office? So I have to hope that I can turn the light on before he gets obliterated. Ooh, doors. Can I go in these doors? No. And? No. Whatever did this should be susceptible to light, right? Because that's the whole concept the of this game so far. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Open. Anything that's a manuscript page. It's a manuscript page. Okay. What is through here? Nothing. Oh, open. Shh. I thought that was shotgun ammo. Then again, I don't have a shotgun yet. This game really likes stripping away all the stuff you have. I was too late. That someone had destroyed the circuit. Not. Burner. There was no way Good. to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty! The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Hmm. I just need hunting licenses. Aha! I really don't like the revolver. Can I get something better? Like maybe, I don't know, an M1911? Or maybe, you know... Just something. Uh, actually, can I go through here? No, that's still locked. Return to Rusty. Isn't Rusty... I don't know, gone? Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole shit. in the wall. A mammothized hole. Well, it wasn't the mammoth. The mammoth is still there. Please don't feed the animals. That's not promising. The fishing fuck? is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. No bay. The park ranger's instructions at all times. Rusty, Rusty, no, never. Two bears and wolves never approach any other world closer than twenty five yards. Pets Rusty Rusty Never leave your pet unattended. Rusty Chillax Come back over here Face the light or historical artifacts from the park grounds. Come on. Don't be this way, Rusty. Go back. Holy hell, he was hard to kill. You know, I just pressed right click to aim and just blew some battery, but it's okay because it slowly recharges. Oh. Nothing? Ooh, what's this? This looks like ammo. Could use that. There's a huge box of revolver ammo. Lovely. Uh. Oh, so that's what the noise I heard was. That gate being broken down by those two assholes. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Oh. Duh. 
fuck? What the fuck? Whatever it is, it can knock down whole fucking trees. Oh, hello, light. You are a checkpoint. You're also very bright, so I'm trying to avoid being in you for too long. Why am I ringing? Yeah. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy. But I hope I don't crazy. have to kill Barry. That would be very no, disappointing. Be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Okay. Now, this is just a matter of whether or not Barry can listen to instructions. And hopefully the lights don't go out in the cabin. And if they do, he has a flashlight. Revolver ammo limit reached. I should have known that. And yes, I spammed the button anyhow. Because I wanted it more. I wanted it. That's a shiny light. See it? Over there? It's shiny over there. Lover's Peak was I feel like I'm missing things. The nature trail. Moonshine Cave. Ooh. The door appears open. Can I go in? Ooh. Okay, this is a good place for an actual creepy situation to occur. Moonshine Cave. Site of frequent bootlegger activity throughout the pro uh, Prohibition, 1919 to 1933. Ooh. Are these like special uh like weapons caches and stuff from uh the light guy? The voice of the light, which is actually very possibly Oh, it was mostly used for temporary storage of alcohol smuggled from Canada, but at times alcohol is also distilled on the premises. So, I'm guessing this is basically just a little, like, weapons and stuff, uh, cache for finding, uh, yeah. Basically, the arrows are supposed to point you there. The question is, was there an arrow pointing me here, or was the giant fucking gate... Oh, no, there's an arrow. Okay, so now I know what those arrows mean. They don't point you towards the objective. That's with the little dot on the, uh, mini map -y thing that I didn't notice till just now. Ooh, okay. Okay, I see. Do not field wild feed wildlife, and the light went out. That's not a good sign. I have a feeling there's about to be combat here. One in front of me, two behind me. Okay. Shit. Okay, so, I'm going, I never actually paid attention before, I'm going to assume that where I shoot is actually the, uh, where my light is aimed, if that makes sense. I hope. Theoretically. Maybe. Possibly. I hate bridges. I mean, the only one that expect a bridge to break whenever I walk over it. Lover's Peak is that way. Is there any little yellow arrow signs or anything hidden on a rock or anything? So far, I don't see anything. Ooh, manuscript page. Dumpster. Chopping block for logs. Well, firewood, more specifically. Okay. Cool. Oh, in order to make matters as worse as I can, I also have a fan in the window blowing onto me, and it's decently cold outside for this time of year. So, 
the goal here is to try and force some kind of reaction out of myself. May or may not work. There's light up here. You better not go out like the last light. Ooh, a shotgun. I have a shotgun. But this means more ammo. Okay. Good deal. Gonna stick to the pistol for now. Oh, what the fuck, man? Okay, the revolver might not cut it for much longer. I see you over there. Wait, is that circle getting smaller? Is that the, uh, basically the, uh, health bar of their light? Yes, it is. Oh, I was a little bit late. Fuck. Okay. Does that say anything else? Felled by lightning in 1937, this exceptionally tall Rocky Mountain Douglas fir, Sudotasuga Mezesis, whatever, was over 200 years old. According to local legends, it stretched beyond the stars. After it fell, it was measured to be 66 meters tall, nearly a record length. Okay. Where the fuck am I going now? the wrong way because the wrong way it's always the right way roar suck it I like how if I want to sprint, I also have to do that little duck as well. Okay. I guess I have to go this way. Ammo's a bit scarce. Ooh. Uh, it said on a loading screen tip, you know, sometimes the best course of action is to just rush straight for the next safe haven. Oh! Woohoo! Suck it! Woo! Where is the next safe haven? Oh! I failed. Dodge failed. Another news, it seemed like uh, doing the little dodges. Helped quite a bit with, uh, you know, burning them down without actually using up battery power. Okay. Someone didn't want me to use that phone. Bear alert. Hey, you. Go away. I could have swore there was a light there. Did it bust out? I suppose that's entirely possible in this situation. What the? That is a bloody shirt. 